Hello everybody, I'm Jacqueline. Today I'll be teaching you Medical Surgical Nursing 1 and uh, the system is Altered Immune Response. In this, uh, the topic chosen for today's video is Rheumatoid Arthritis. Most of you uh, might have heard the word Arthritis, which we uh, have a, just an idea about it that is uh, when somebody says they're having Arthritis, the first thing comes to our mind is they're having joint pains. So let's see what actually Arthritis is. The definition of Arthritis says that uh, rheumatoid, uh, particularly rheumatoid arthritis, it is a chronic and usual progressive inflammatory disorder. Chronic means for a longer duration, progressive inflammatory means it takes a slower duration and it's an inflammatory where the swelling takes place. <coughs> inflammatory disorder known as, uh, it is unknown etiology, we don't know particular what reason it has been happening. This is characterized by polyarticular system uh, symmetrical joint involvement and uh, systemic in manifestations what it means is the person with rheumatoid arthritis will have inflammatory it is a longer duration when we say chronic it is for uh, when it comes to arthritis it, it is a lifelong uh, disease just like any other diabetes or hypertension arthritis is also one of the long-term disease it is a progressive and inflammatory for this one, there is no particular aspects or particular reasons. Let's see what are the, uh, what can be the reasons. See, before seeing that, uh, as you can see in the slides, there are uh, uh, different arthritis. That is, one is a normal joint, how it looks like, and there's a osteoarthritis, and the right side one is rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, normal joint, we already know, we have studied in anatomy and physiology. Uh, as you can see, in the osteoarthritis, osteo is related to the bone, and here, uh, what happens is the bone particularly the bone part will start to inflame okay that is bone ends rub on each other and there will be inflammatory reaction when it comes to rheumatoid arthritis that is in the third diagram the ligament around it the fluid present around the bony part there will be inflammation especially we call it as synovial joints these synovial joints will be inflamed and the synovial membrane will be uh, swollen so this is how it looks like uh, usually the risk factor people who are very much uh, prone to get this disease are uh, because of the genetic factor or uh, smoking status people who are uh, smokers <coughs> uh, people who are exposure to the toxins and uh, certain infections where they call again and again infection on their body and then uh, biological sex that is whether uh, male or female or particular age group their weight all this will the age factor for the people might get arthritis and the causes such as we as we know uh, in the first itself that is uh, there is a uh, unknown the particular idiopathic cause is unknown but the other causes are bacterial infection or genetic marker because if at all your parents or uh, other forefathers if at all they were having arthritis it is a chance of getting to their offsprings also. So that is a genetic factor and then a stress, viral infection and other suspected to uh, includes hormone when it comes to female. When there is imbalance of the hormone particularly in female that also leads to arthritis and smoking. These are the causes. Now we see pathological changes. What are the pathological changes takes place in our body particularly in the joints when a person is having arthritis. There are particularly five steps. The first step what happens is phagocytosis and phagocytosis usually the cell cells uh, starts to kill the bacteria to control the infection. What it happens is this phagocytosis produces enzyme within the joint which causes inflammation. After this stage the collagen is destroyed, the collagen present near the joints are destroyed and a panis formation occur, narrowing of the joint spaces, the uh, space between the joints will be narrowed and it may result in joint destruction, ankylospondylitis, ankylospondylitis is due to the particular uh, genetic factor or disease, this will happen and then the deformities loses articulation, that is the articu articulation structure whatever that, that will be deformed and the joint motion will be deformed. The th uh, fourth step what happens is the inflammatory process can affect the spine. So these joints are not particularly telling about any particular joint. This is this can be any part of the body, whether it's a knee bone or elbow or any part of the joint. When it occurs, this uh, process will affect the 
spinal cord and the blood vessels the pleural membrane and the lung and the pericardial sacs also and then in the last stage what happens is the condition may be short but limited and progressive and severe see well, the, in a, the process was major symptoms are uh, in a starting stage only the person will have mild joint pain to severe joint pain which leads to episodes to episode and then continue for the chronic period and then it might be severe or it might be processive like progressive like you know mild stage starts for slower by slower it will start to increase that is called progressive or it will be sudden immediate severe so these are the steps of rheumatoid arthritis see in this uh, slide you can see the nodules will be uh, formed in rheumatoid arthritis the nodules that is as you can see this uh, screen there are uh, uh, it's like a protruded form it is not uh, protrusion in different way this protrusion is particularly on the joint parts okay and then the clinical manifestations are uh, the person with arthritis will have uh, in pro uh, the progressive stage the hand shape will be changed the bone prominence or the bone structure will be deformed the normal structure will not be seen and as you can see in the screen hammer toes will be visible the toes will look like a hammer like that it's like and then the other symptoms are uh, fatigue stiffness uh, especially in the morning and uh, after for after like sitting for long duration in one place so the particular joint will be immobile for some time and uh, not relieved by pain even after giving painkillers also the pain will not be subsided low grade fever will be there weakness muscle pain prolonged sitting so there will be symmetrical affected joints on both the sides of the body or sometimes only one part of the body can be affected and then uh, rheumatoid nodules will be there as we can saw in the uh, previous slides nodules will be present uh, deformity of the joints over the time as the time passes because of progressive disease so it will take time and then uh, Reynolds phenomena can be seen Reynolds phenomena I will I'll show you on the next screen and the pain severe will be there the other complications are rupture of the tendons, rupture of the joints. The rupture of the joints are also called as uh, Baker's cysts and uh, joint infection, spinal cord compression will be there. Amyloidosis can be seen. It's a very rare case, but this can also be a complication of uh, rheumatoid arthritis. And the side effects of the therapy because the therapy includes a longer duration of medications which differ from dosage to dosage depending on the person's condition. So there will be severe side effects where it affects the uh, uh, renal system as well as uh, hepatic system investigation includes uh, blood count serum auto antibodies in which they'll find out uh, anti-ccp has a high specificity of 90 percent and rheumatoid factor is positive of 70 percent the sensitivity factor will be 80 percent so this they will be finding out in serum auto antibodies x-ray uh, in that one we can find out the narrowing of the joints Synovial fluid will be tested to find out the high neutrophil count and then radiological test can be done in which we can see the uh, deformation of the bones and then bone erosion can be seen and bone displacement also can be seen and the management to uh, reduce this or to control this pain or the symptoms uh, usually has no particular cure for rheumatoid arthritis only symptomatic treatments can be given those are like uh, remission of the symptoms return for full function and then maintenance of uh, remnants with disease modifying agents uh, and then effective management for it requires multidisciplinary approach such as uh, people with this arthritis have has to avoid the triggering factors triggering factors differs from person to person so when the triggering factor was they are exposed and the next time when they have uh, already found out the triggering factor they should avoid the triggering factor for the next time uh, NSAIDs that is non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs will be given uh, and then corticosteroids will be given to suppress the disease activity and then disease modifying anti-rheumatic drugs will be given most commonly used drug here is sulfazalazine medicine or the tablet which can also be called as commonly SARS or the SAS medication very commonly given for uh, uh, patient with rheumatoid arthritis and the combination with this is given are HCQS medications and uh, vitamin D tablets 
and calcium tablets are given and as you can see the screen that is sulfur salmonai uh, sorry sulfur salazine it is used patient with a mild and moderate disease it is used for mild also and moderate disease for uh, many this drug for choice especially in younger patient and women who are planning family because uh, this can be used people who are uh, having family plans for the future also and other medications uh, will also be given such as uh, methotrexatate and then leflunomide these are t cell blockers which can also call it as t cell proliferation the other medications such as all the drugs who have serious side effects should be avoided and should be taken care very carefully uh, surgical management <coughs> such as synovectomy that is synovial present like synovial membrane is present in the bone joints they will be removed because that particular area will be affected and the surgery is to remove the inflammation lining of the joint that is synovium and the tendon repairment can be done the particular uh, tendon which are damaged will also be repaired joint fusion will be done where the surgically fusion of the joint may be recommended to stabilize the region or the joint of the pain to relief and when the joint replacement isn't an option and the last option is joint replacement the particular joint will be replaced uh, during your surgery it removes the damaged part of your body and insert the prosthetic prosthetic is a duplicate one which acts as a uh, particular joint the lifestyle uh, remedy should be followed up that is exercise regularly uh, apply heat or cold compression during the pain uh, triggers and then a relaxation technique should be maintained gentle exercise stretching should be done deep breathing exercise should be taught to the patient uh, should know their own limit factors or the triggering factors so this finishes the topic arthritis uh, if at all anybody having doubts regarding this one you can contact me thank you for watching the video